I'm going to make some white chocolate holiday fudge. Now, when you make candy, a lot of times it's very temperature sensitive and you need a candy thermometer and you have to be very careful. And when it says 230, it means 230, not 235. But in this recipe, there's no candy thermometer involved and so you don't have to worry about that. So it's kind of an easy recipe if you haven't made candy before. I'm going to start off with a pan on heat and I have 16 ounces of good white chocolate chips, or you can get yourself good white chocolate bar and chunk it up. And then here I have a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, not evaporated, but sweetened condensed. And I'm going to add that to the white chocolate. And all we're looking to do here is to melt the white chocolate into the milk and just make a nice creamy mixture and get that going. That's going to take a few minutes for that white chocolate to melt. You don't want to melt white chocolate over very high heat. I like doing it over a rather medium heat. It takes a little bit longer, but if you do it too fast, you'll end up with a scorched mess. Okay, now this can will be cleaned out and it'll go to recycling. When it's done, we're going to add some pistachios. I have a half a cup there. I have two thirds of a cup of dried cranberries and a teaspoon of vanilla. If you don't want to use pistachios, you can use nuts of your choice, walnuts, almonds, cashews even would be great. I wouldn't use peanuts in this. It just somehow doesn't make it with peanuts. In the pan here, I have an eight by eight square pan. And what I've done is I sprayed it with cooking spray. And then this is parchment paper, which I cut one piece this way and one piece this way. And then I sprayed it again. And so that's our prepared pan. We'll put that aside. And now all we have to do right now is wait for this chocolate and milk mixture to become a nice blend. This could take, I don't know, four or five minutes. All right, our white chocolate mixture is almost done. There's a few little lumps in there, but you know what? Even a few little lumps of white chocolate is not a bad thing trying to get them all out. All right, so now we're gonna add our ingredients, our cranberries, our pistachios, and our vanilla. Mix that up well. And get it into our pan. And then we will then put this in the refrigerator and let it set up. So we need, oh, two hours to set up or so, maybe a little bit longer. All of that in there. Mm. It smells delicious. It really, really does. Just use my little offset spatula to get it into all the corners before it starts setting up. Get it all in there. And there you go. Here is our white chocolate fudge, all set and ready to go in the refrigerator. And then when it's all done, we'll cut it into squares and we can serve it up. And here's our white chocolate fudge, all set up and ready to go on a candy dish. And just look at that center. You've got the cranberries and the pistachios. It's just so delectable and so wonderful.